feud with all of you. The country you used to know, the country you are part of building, is no longer there. There's nothing today, if Nigeria, and I say it, gets it wrong in 2023, because 2023 is to enable Nigeria to start rebuilding again. If they get it wrong, I can assure you that it will not take time for some of you who will still be there at that time to be refugees somewhere. Today, go and look at the list of fragile failing states. Nigeria is on top of it. Today, go and look at the list of terrorized nations. Nigeria is number three. We are now ranked the same place as Afghanistan and Yemen. Today, we are the capital of poverty. We have been since 2019. What is worse in it is that Nigeria has more people living in poverty than the two biggest countries of the world combined. China and India combined is 2.8 billion. Nigeria is 200 million. So we're not even 10% of these two countries combined, but we have more people living in poverty than both of them combined. Today, we have 50 million children out of school. And not out of school. 60 to 70% of them have never been to school at all. So they're not out of school. They've never even experienced the class of coming out of it. Your country's stress level, this country is now the most stressful place for people to live in. Go and check the stress level index. We, our misery level have gotten down so low. We have the highest unemployment rate because we have been comparing it with South Africa, but I'll show you how South Africa is less. We have 33% unemployment. When you include underemployment, you have 55% out of which 60% of these are young people in their productive age doing nothing. At the age they are supposed to be the engine of production. They are not doing anything. They left school. Some of them didn't go to school. But they have nothing doing. So you have millions of them all over the place. We've just overtaken India in infant mortality. They expected we would overtake them in 2024. But we've overtaken them by first quarter. The list is endless. In drug prevalence now, the global rate is 5.8. Nigeria is 14.9. And it's 70% more among the young ones. That is where your country is. Your death level is totally unacceptable. I was speaking to the Senate yesterday. And they showed me a young man, a, 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 sorry, they showed me a senator, the single senator, who is the chairman of approving the loans in which Nigeria, all the loans that they are borrowing? And I said to him, thank you for approving it. But let me tell you, all the loans people have approved have put us in a mess. Today, we are using 98% of our revenue to service debt. And I can tell you by the end of this year, it will be 100 and something percent of our revenue. The first five months of last year, Nigeria generated as a revenue 1 trillion 847 billion. And they used 1 trillion 802 billion to service debt. 98 percent. It was remaining only 45 billion. Last year, our budget was 13 point something trillion. And they said they are going to borrow 4 trillion, they ended up borrowing 6.7 trillion. Because they couldn't make it. This year, our budget is 17 trillion. And they, they said they are going to borrow only 7. They are going to generate 10. They are not going to generate 15, even 50% of that. So we are going to borrow about 8 this year. And we are going to service all those debts. 
It is not possible. There's no way a country can survive with that level of debt. And every day what you hear from government is that we don't have a borrowing problem, we have a revenue problem. You don't have a revenue problem. Revenue comes from production. The country is not productive. It's consumption. If, when you have millions of people unemployed, how can you generate revenue? You're not doing anything. People in your villages can't pay tax. They can't pay for anything because they're not doing anything. You need them to do something to be able to generate this thing. We have engine of production and employment, which is micro, small, medium businesses sovereign in Nigeria. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If today is the first day you are coming across my video, my name is Lucy Chioma, okay? So consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so that I do not miss any of my video, okay? So this, uh, the previous video you watched, video of uh, Mr. Pito B, huh? that was throwback before 2023 election he heard what he said he said if nigeria if nigeria felt like all his talk based on if we mistakenly vote somebody that don't supposed to rule us that we not rule us war that it will take time for nigeria to rebuild again for nigeria to be better again is that not coming out now is is it not what we are facing now Okay, imagine country that okay, he was like signing loan, signing loan, like they're signing loan. When you are signing loan, you have to signing loan, and you don't have source of income to pay back. Okay, how do you generate incomes? How do you generate incomes? When you don't give people that that can initiate something on their own, courage to showcase what they are. Because there are so many talented, there are so many talented people aside there. But because of the kind of government we have, they have no opportunity to showcase what they are, or maybe they have no opportunity to go to school. And there are some educated ones who can as well do better when they're being fixed in a place or into a place. But because they are not opportuned, they don't have people in higher level. I just pray that God will help us. Just tell me what, let me know what you think about this video, okay? Drop your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this video, okay? So I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye for now.